Hi, I'm David Dodge. Welcome to Green Energy Futures. That sound is Kenton Zerbin playing his handpan, a smaller version of a steel drum. He's sitting on his couch in his tiny home near Mournville, Alberta. Kenton is a school teacher who's one of the most infectiously positive people you will ever meet. He literally wants to change the world. I started my career as a teacher. I kind of was like that whole feel-good feeling, hoo-ha, train the next generation. Uh, started in elementary and worked my way into high school. However, when I got to the education system, I quickly started questioning, why are we teaching what we're teaching the kids today? And I didn't have a good answer. So suddenly I had to start looking for other things to teach so that I could justify uh, what I was doing and that I thought I was preparing kids for tomorrow, let alone today. Climate change, ecosystem degradation, and the unsustainable development patterns of humans inspired Canton to dig deeper. So I came across permaculture, which is a design science for how to design humans back into their physical and social world. And I went, this is amazing. It's all about homes. It's all about food. It's all about sustainable living, really. And uh, I went, yep, this is what I want to teach. So after getting my uh, design certificate in permaculture, I ended up bringing it back to a high school where I was still teaching, starting a permaculture club, and just changing some kids' lives. They were super stoked about the content. But Kenton felt he just wasn't doing enough to equip people to build a more sustainable world. However, it wasn't enough. I was doing this as a club, and uh, I wanted to do more. So when my contract finished, I went to Australia and studied for a year, went and did an internship with a guy named Jeff Lawton, uh, went and did a, a, assisted a permaculture course with a guy named Bill Mollison and uh, ended up coming back home after that year ready to kind of start my business up and do educating people about permaculture and sustainable living. Permaculture is becoming very big around the world and Kenton's mentors, Jeff Lawton and Bill Mollison, are the gurus of permaculture. Kenton then traveled across Canada for a year learning about sustainable homes, food systems and communities. He calls this Life University. After that trip across Canada for a year, I actually got a job to go to Barbados. So uh, I went and started a school for permaculture in Barbados. I ended up getting UN funding, working with the government, and training over 100 permaculture designers on the island, which was a phenomenal experience. Coming back home from that, I decided, well, I should probably get a house that models what I teach and uh, what I'm all about. And thus, the planning for the tiny house began. Uh, well, I run a two and a half day workshop to crash course people through this, to save them time, save them money, do it faster, better than I did. As a professional teacher, this is what I thought I could offer the community after I went through eight months of design, eight months of building, and uh, I've been doing this now for, oh my gosh, four years. Uh, started here in Alberta, then got pulled into BC to start teaching people about it. Uh, last year I taught it across Canada, and this year it's across North America. Kenton's involved in many aspects of permaculture. As a consultant, he's designed and gone hands-on to help communities create food for us. He also helped a church transform its landscape from a lawn that needed to be mowed to an edible landscape, complete with a fire pit and mini amphitheater. Next up on Green Energy Futures, Kenton returns to tell the story of how he built his tiny home. Learn more at greenenergyfutures.ca. For Green Energy Futures, I'm David Dodge. stove, a transforming table, a couch with storage inside of it and it's got water and it's pretty cozy, my beetle kill pine wood stairs, going up to the master bedroom which holds a queen sized bed, closed storage, laundry basket, garbage can,